What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have a Godzilla, Godzilla Earth drawing. I haven't drawn Godzilla Earth yet. So, three heads, right? I've put one, big one here, big one here, and a smaller one sort of coming in the background over Godzilla's shoulder, and then Godzilla Earth in the middle, kind of from the poster, okay? Complicated enough if you if we make it complicated. So we'll see we'll see how we go. I'm on landscape orientation paper. Okay, use a pencil and eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. We are going to start with Ghidorah, right? We will get these three heads in, and then we'll draw Godzilla sort of somewhere in the middle, right? Just to get everything positioned because they're sort of over Godzilla's body. You know, some of them cross over his shoulders and things. So we'll do them first, and then put Godzilla in the middle. You could go the opposite way, but... So we're going to start with him up here. Center point of my page is up here. I'm going to start with the sort of large head up this end, right? So we'll just go here, right? And kind of... Spikes down like this. It's kind of his nose, okay? And we have all these teeth, right, that go back this way. So we got like a big one at first. And it kind of spikes down here. And then we have some small ones that kind of come down this way. And we're going to go all the way back to the back of his mouth, okay? So, keep going. And you could do these any old way. It doesn't have to be exactly like, like mine. Back like so. And we sort of have a line just here at the back of his mouth then. And this will eventually come to a big sort of hook or spike at the back of his mouth, just sort of here. Right back here. And then this comes in. All right? So then the top of that snout comes back this way. We got some bumps for his nose. And it looks like he's kind of like made of gold or something you know and there could be like some wrinkles and texture lines and things on him going like up this way from the teeth All right but we'll do that in a minute I'll just keep going with his mouth so or his snout should I say so it kind of comes back down this way and then comes up and this kind of goes like so Eventually, we'll bump up to a spike here on his head, right? Right, and then there's like a larger spike sort of going up this way. Back down. And then we have some more spikes going like for the back of his head back this way. And this will obviously just go off my page off to his neck. So he has a sort of eye area, right? So it's his, his first eye is where you'd expect it to be, right? So it's just like sort of up here. Right? So where you'd place an eye of a dragon or something. And then his forehead has some spikes on it, like his, his eyebrow sort of area right here. And these go quite long this way. And then we have some more spikes back here. And some large ones. Go down around the back of his face. Kind of here. Another one here. Kind of goes into there. Right, and you could have some like texture lines and things. And then we got like so the spike goes off this way, and then there's like all texture back here. Because it's like it becomes part of his sort of head and neck area then, so there's all these like little spikes and stuff going back this way. Right, 
some texture and things here. All right, so then he, in here he's got, there's all those spikes go off like towards the back of his neck then, all out that way, okay? So a few more room, you could just extend that. He's got like lots of spikes. So he's got lot, like crazy amount of eyes, right? So like another eye right here somewhere. And then over here too. There. There. coming down his face right and then some like over the other side of his head you can like see them peeping up here like that there and again you can add like some more texture and stuff around these like if you want like some lines and because he looks like he's made of this um flowing sort of gold or something that's like right so that's basically the top of his head right so then we'll go down the other side right so his jaw comes all along down this way and we'll start it so we're just under here somewhere so we'll go Go with a spike here, right? So comes out, spikes out here. Back in. And this kind of comes down this way. And then we have another spike that comes out from it here. Goes back in. And then this will come out here, real long, back in. And we have a shorter one here. And then we have some in behind here as well, joining the back of his head. So like a spike here. Curves around, goes off the page that way. So then spikes for his bottom jaw, and then we actually have the bottom jaw coming down this way. It's real sort of long, right? Comes down as far as this one, like as long as this one. So it's like pretty much underneath. Up like so, and it spikes down. Bring it around for teeth. There's like, there's not that many teeth down here. They're like sort of. So you could have some of that texture on it as well. And then we keep going. And eventually it'll go up his mouth. And we'll have sort of that side connection sort of lines here like so and again you can do as much sort of texture as you want on it just some sort of wrinkly lines like so so then the other side of the teeth so the other side of the mouth and teeth like so you may have a tooth sticking off here another one here it's kind of bumpy another tooth that and then goes up here like so and then this will eventually go in around to his mouth there we may see, see some teeth like coming out the back of the other side of his mouth as well you know just like sticking out sort of here And his tongue, he doesn't really have a tongue, right? So he just has kind of this sort of area at the back of his 
throat kind of sticks out like that like a hole and it has all like texture around it and like maybe it should be a bit darker than the rest so kind of like that you know and then this has like all these flowing sort of lines coming down so it doesn't look like the tongue he has a tongue that disconnects you know he just has all this sort of texture coming down here So we'll go, we'll come down and do this guy now. So if we'll do his mouth coming, so we're, we're all going towards Godzilla's head, kind of up here somewhere. So we'll aim his mouth this way as well, right? So, right, okay. So his mouth will start, we'll start it here. So real long again, right? do the top of his head so like bumpy coming down here goes down to the top of his head there right and then the teeth spiking in towards the corner of his mouth here and we could have like some wrinkles and bumps and stuff and circles and things like coming up from his teeth all this texture like so and then like another sort of skin line or something here and then his bottom jaw so we'll go that way and then we'll go this way and add some teeth as we go. I'll start to come back down here. Pretty long this way. And then it'll start to become like spikes coming out from his jaw. Like there. And then, so that's his mouth open, that's the inside. So we should see if that's a tooth, and then maybe like another tooth here. isn't much in the way of teeth but we'll add them just because it wouldn't really make much sense so we'll bring it across that's like the inside of his mouth so then this goes up like that way and then we could have like some texture lines and stuff here So, and then spikes all going around his head then. So we got like another one here. And then coming out from, say the top of his mouth. So we'll put it sort of here. And these, so these spikes like go around sort of the back of his head, come out the top here. So we'll have like another Small spike here, large spike, comes down, comes out here, and goes all the way around the back of his neck, right, so comes down this way.
there. Alright, so then those eyes, right? So again, sort of an eye. So that's like the brow on the other side. So then so above his mouth. Let's say, let's put it sort of here. There. And then this will have like some spikes or some frowns coming back that way. And then he seems to have some eyes coming up like the back of his head, like all the way back that way. A little bit different to the other guy. Like another one here. Small ones there. Some on the other side of his head here. Put another small one there. And some other texture lines. Horns that way, right? And then you can add like texture around all those eyes. Coming from the horns. That, right, so we can see a little bit more of this guy's neck, right? So we've got like these big spikes that come out and go up around, like and go down, right? So that's this is kind of how his neck sort of starts and they all descend sort of going down that way, right? So kind of just goes up around this way out here goes back into his head that way right so this sort of star like shape and then the next ones sort of go out from there as well right and you just sort of continue down in that sort of pattern I guess sort of you know going down this way and then the next one comes out and then the next one so it's like a Russian doll sort of thing Lots of these. That's what like his whole body is nearly made of. You know, you can have some texture lines and stuff on this as well. Going all the way down. Is there any more spikes that I've missed? Maybe like another one here. Maybe something there. What's this texture then? Right, so two down, one to go. And this one's much smaller, okay? So he's like up here. So the front of his snout will be like just here. Above this guy's head. So we've got like the feel for it now. So we just like add, it always gets much easier like the more you do it. So we just add those teeth again. And this will go back to his mouth. Right. And then the top of his head. Move this way. So this guy's kind of more in the distance, you know. So, and then the back of the mouth, we'll say we'll give him, so a spike sort of going off this way. Back up. And, yeah, a spike going off that way. Back in here, another one going out here. here and we'll sort of join them up to this area and there could be some out the back here as well right 
spikes there, and then, um, so like his brow, so we'll give him sort of an eye or something here. And then this bumpy sort of brow spikes. There. Texture, if you want. Texture lines like so. And remember, if I move too fast, just to hit that pause button. Like so. And then, here's another eye sort of here. Does one of them have no eyes? I'm not sure. I think all three of them have eyes. I could be wrong. You can kind of make the eyes up a little bit if you wanted. Let me pull one just on the other side of his head there. Like so. All right, so then we'll go with the bottom of his jaw. So we got sort of this sort of side of his jawline. Then his mouth kind of comes down this way. Same sort of thing, so spikes. Do this line, sort of the inside of his teeth here. some texture inside like so do 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 all coming around here as well like so and then eventually it starts to become this sort of neck shape again so let's see So we'll bring it out from bring it out from here. So we'll go up this way. And then it kind of comes back down into here. This will go back in underneath his neck here. And we maybe could have another spike there on its own. And this will have like texture and stuff all over it. Like so. And then. So then you kind of add some more just kind of coming out from behind. So that one goes that way. This way, underneath. Another one. Going that way. Patterns and stuff. Like so, just going back off 
the page. Let's turn it back that way. Maybe like another sort of spike here or something. Okay, so generally that's how to draw the three doors. Now you could do all tentacles if you wanted around, sort of in behind, but we'll just keep this simple and we'll go do our boy Godzilla now. So, right. So we're going to stick him in here, right? And it's from the poster. So if you if you just googled um, Godzilla Planet Eater, Planet Eater. Um, this image will come up so you'll know exactly what I'm drawing from right so his head is kind of tilted Jaw coming down this way and neck stretching down. We have some shoulders. Maybe a hand Just here So So Godzilla Earth he's, he's real different to what we're used to drawing right so Top of his head right so we'll go across like this way. There might be like some spikes every now and then. Right, so this is like the top of his head and his neck. And then his nose or his snout kind of comes out here. Curves around. So that's his nose. I think there's like a hole, but you know, he's he's kind of like the Ghidorahs. He's got all this texture all over him. He's kind of like one mesh of, looks like he's made of clay or something, do you know? So his nose is there, right? And this eventually becomes his mouth, like in his teeth and stuff. Coming down this way and his mouth is open here. So we'll just go across for his teeth here. Right, so just starting to like, come across this way and down, right? And eventually come down the side of his mouth to his jaw. Right, that comes down this way, right? So, and you'll add like, these sorts of spikes and stuff, right? So this is kind of open. Then we have his jaw open this way, all sort of jaggedy kind of lines going up like so. And then his jaw on this side comes down. Like a spike here, across. And the teeth will start to go back up this way, so say like coming down here, we got some teeth. And like side of his mouth, maybe here or something. This eventually curves down here. You can see some texture on like the roof of his mouth. It's all in dark black shadow all up here. So you can't really see much. But then we got like some lines just coming out from his teeth around. And then that big chin of his, right? So it comes down this way. And I'll do his eyes now in a second, but we just gotta sort of add these sort of beard-like structures or whatever they are down here. It's like he's made of a mountain or something. Right, like this, and these go like all up his jaw. So his jaw will come all the way up around to the back of his head nearly. Add a sort of line and texture and stuff all in here. Goes up and then goes back in. 
in. So we've got like some bumps and texture lines there. So it kind of looks like, you know, this is all connected like one sort of piece, right? So there's all these texture lines running down from his top teeth to his bottom teeth. I like this. And all this sort of stuff. So very textured sort of thing going on. All right, like so. Right, and then in here we have his eye, right? So his frown sort of area. So we have like his head and then his brow sort of will be in sort of here, like the shadow underneath his brow just kind of here, right? And his cheek. I'm just kind of run this way, right? And then his eye will be in here somewhere. So like real small now. Small sort of eye with maybe a line just there. And some eyelid lines and texture all coming around this now. And maybe a line just going underneath. Going back that way, right? Eye lines and things. And then this comes up. Maybe some more sort of texture here. Eventually going towards his nose. So this texture is kind of important on this guy now. I usually say, you know, the texture is optional, but I would say definitely try and draw this in because it definitely makes him look like stranger than the other Godzilla, kind of what, what makes him a bit different, you know. Right, like that, and then his tongue. Is that his tongue? I don't know. Right, so I think he has a tongue, but it's kind of spiky and bumpy and stuff here as well. All right, so just here, we'll say it's his tongue. So it comes down this way, but that's sort of a line coming down the middle, but it has like all this texture and ridges and things here as well. We can't really see the back of his throat. This is all shadow, but we'll imagine, say, the back of his throat being here. And this should be black. I'm kind of making this part up because I can't see it in the image. It's just all black. So we'll just add a throat there and then like sides of his mouth and you know, wrinkles and teeth all here. This is his tongue, right? And then texture all there. So, and it's good to thicken up some of the main teeth lines, especially if they're coming over another part of his mouth, just so that they're clearer. Right. So that's kind of his head. So awkward position, kind of unusual, right? Going this way. So then, the back of his neck, right, bumping sort of down this way, right, over this sort of Ghidorah guy's mouth, kind of jump over there. So that's his neck. And the other side of his neck is like here, so he's real muscly. And then we have all these threads, like muscle lines and stuff. So say we have like a bump with texture on it here, and then we have like another defined sort of neck muscle area, say here. 
and another neck muscle line here. Runs down behind this guy. And then neck muscle here and neck muscle like rope or something going up behind the back of his head here, right? So and these are the main sort of structures and then there's all more lines and things on the inside, right? So all this texture inside here and then you have this sort of rope-like threads. Basically how muscles would be. So you have the main lines and then lots of these. So main line normally should be a little darker, right? And then we'll do all these sorts of texture lines, right? Coming down. So, and then coming down this way, the back of his neck. So this is the center of his chest, right? So we got like center line for his chest and then his chest muscles will go across here and down this way. And so, right, so his trapezius, so this is like his neck muscle and its trapezius is somewhere up here. So we'll say this way, and trapezius muscle there. And then more. The other trapezius goes down behind that guy. So it goes in behind his head, sort of thing. So back there somewhere, so we can't really see it. But say, so if his chest, the other chest goes that way, yeah, maybe there. Can we see, should we see some of his shoulder? Mm, maybe, maybe not. So it goes this way. All oh, this texture. In behind his head. Right, so you're kind of making him look like He's made of tree. <laughs> so when you want your main your main lines that we sketched out first to be a little bit darker or heavier, sort of than your texture lines, okay? That way. Alright, so that's his chest, right? So then Where would his shoulder be? So his shoulder should come out. What's his neck, chest? I'm just trying to figure him out now. So chest here, okay? Like that. Trapezius, pretty high up, close to his chin. So then shoulder here somewhere comes out and his arm sort of sticks out and the elbow sticks out this way. So then this comes down here. So this is his shoulder. And then his shoulder kind of joins his chest, top of his chest muscle here, comes down like so. Right, and then tricep comes out this way, right? And 
and then this will go out towards his elbow here which will go back around for his ha arm hand <laughs> elbow there and his other his forearm lines here so right here like that and then this will have like all texture and shoulder line it should be like bicep I guess like well it's like his chest really but if that's his trapezius and this is the start of his hand so then shoulder bicep Lots of this texture then. So just trying to make the main sort of shoulder areas a little bit darker than everything else. <clears throat> so this is it, like his arm, elbow coming down like so. some hand and nails and things so so we get like the main structure and then I'll come back and do we'll try to get his hand and side of his body and stuff so like side of his body will come down like here and then he has like abs and things coming down here but it's all like thread and He's got like little T-Rex arms. So the side of his hand comes out this way. And this comes down to like a claw. Right? Somewhere down here. Like so. So hands are always complicated, I know. So take your time. Like this knuckle or something here. And then this comes up that way and he's another sort of stumpy sort of claw somewhere up here like this comes up down to there up like so like a knuckle or something lines on the back of his hand like the back of his hand is all wrinkly and bumpy there Three fingers? Yeah, maybe he does. So like this comes down like that. Three fingers and a thumb back here. All sharp, sort of back here. Then lots of texture and bumps and all this kind of stuff on this.
to all these sort of dark lines and texture lines and things here. So should we see the underside of his bicep? Maybe there and some body or something. So, chest comes across here, lots of texture. And then side of his body for abs and things. So this is just all gnarly sort of texture, right? So dark lines, sort of light lines, chest, comes across, goes underneath him, goes out to his shoulder on the other side. And then like some lines for like his obliques and stuff here. here like big sort of shadowy areas coming down maybe the abs some darker lines here as well and then you just you kind of add all this texture just as you go hmm. <clears throat> so tree like back so I'm doing this now just by feel I'm not sort of I'm just sort of following the shapes like adding texture lines and things going this way and then adding some dark areas like some shadowy areas every now and then you know just kind of trying to make them as textured as I can without um, doing sort of too much you know and his hand as well a bit tricky I know bicep shoulder line Right, can we see some of his scales on his back? Yeah, so just over here, we'll add some of these. Um, you know those uh, large um, sort of spikes on his, on his back? You know these ones that sort of come down, all the way down his back. So, right now, just sort of keep going so you just kind of keep going adding texture trying to define up some of his muscles or are they muscles even and keep adding texture and shade and shadow and all that and build it up as much as you want now
So I'm just like tidying things up, just following my sort of lines that I've done already. I'm trying to just make things a little bit clearer in some spots and add some more texture in others. It's always no hard to know when to stop with these sorts of things because you could keep going adding detail and texture and stuff forever. The trick is knowing when to stop. The trick, Mr. Potter, is not minding that it hurts. Sorry, that's from a movie. Now. I don't know. I don't know if this is enough. I don't know if I should stop. How long is the video? Yeah, nearly an hour. Okay. I think I'll stop. That's the best I can do, I think. It's not bad. Okay, that's how to draw Godzilla, Earth versus Planet Eater, Ghidorah. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.